All right, and I'm here back in the newsroom at uh, Shane McDermott's desk this week. Okay. And uh, Shane, tell us what it is you do. Um, I am an editorial illustrator, uh, and basically what I do is when uh, someone's writing a story, um, I sort of try to figure out the best way to visually communicate that very quickly. Um, so, you know, I get a story and I work on little thumbnail sketches. You want me to show you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just little things like this, <coughs> where I just sketch out lots of different uh, ideas to see which one sort of is the best idea. And uh, in the case of this one, this sort of was a sketch that we picked out and it ended up over there. That's the, the finished page. Which I, I did sort of executed that as a, a wood block cut. Sort of a wood cut, I guess. Cool. Yeah. So there are lots of different ways that I, I work. You know, some stuff's inked uh, like that, and then I scan it in and color it in Photoshop, and it ends up looking like that. Um, Nice. So yeah, you know, just awesome. I, I make pretty pictures. <laughs> they're, they're supposed to communicate a point. Basically. I didn't know you were slated for the next Spider-Man. <laughs> I, I am actually. I'm supposed to keep that quiet. But <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, what are okay? This this army of of newsstand shaped robots. What mm -hmm. do we get? What are these? Uh, these are the news bots, and I, I created the the plain news bot last year uh, for the holiday calendar, and in the you know as the days of the. You know, you count down the days until Christmas. As as those days sort of go by, I had a story unfold where um, a commercial appeal news bin turned into a robot and got in a snowball fight with a little girl. Uh, and so that's where these guys came from. And then uh, there was a zombie walk back in, I forget what month it was, but uh, we did sort of a zombified news bot for, for a giveaway for, you know, for the the zombie walk. And then for the 4th of July, we had the um, independence bot which looks kind of like a combination between Captain America and a luchador or something, <laughs> I don't know. And uh, this year in the, the holiday calendar, we've got a flying reindeer taking a little boy for a ride, and I made the uh, flying reindeer. Do you have to be, like, you know, special and artsy to, to make these, or are these uh, easily <laughs> available to the public? I think, I think he, he requires a lot less uh, artistic, um, I don't know, proclivity. Um, they all have instructions on them when you sort of download the template. And he's really simple. He's just a couple of folds, and you can put him together in about 30 minutes. And he doesn't have very many pieces that have to be glued on. Whereas these guys, this was my first stab at, at creating a paper craft. Um, I think I, I made him a little too complex. He <laughs> takes about two and a half hours. <laughs> so kids don't necessarily have the attention span for putting those together. But their parents can help them. So. Cool. But, uh, but these are online? Yes. Okay, yes. cool. We'll, we'll link to that when we post the video. Cool. Awesome. I was gonna ask one more thing. Sure. Yeah, uh, I noticed these things right here, and I was talking to you earlier about these because these are insane looking reindeer in in the best possible way, especially this one. But what are, what's the deal with these reindeer? Um, I sort of did when I started playing around with the, the concept of these winged reindeer, um, which you know how else would a reindeer fly? Uh, uh, I, I got into sort of the, the the mythology of Christmas and stuff that people don't really necessarily know about, and the original Clement Seymour, uh, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Christmas, uh, he had sort of originally intended for there to be four male reindeer and four female reindeer, and you know I sort of researched their names and what they mean. Uh, for instance, Comet, which is this one. This is my Comet. Uh, his sort of special deal is that he brings wonder and joy to children on Christmas Eve, and uh, this is the top one here is Donder, and that's sort of Dutch uh, or German for thunder. And this is Blitzen, and that's sort of Dutch or German for lightning. And they're the last two. They bring the thunder and the lightning. That's what it means. So, cool. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for talking to yeah. me, man. No problem. Um, that was Shane, and we'll be back later with more stuff, probably the second floor soon. All right. Bye.